Okay, so now we are going to look at combining the things you've learned to do with integration to be able to find all sorts of different shaded areas. So we could have something like this, the normal area under the curve. We could have in between two curves, between a curve and a line. We could have a curve and a line like this. We could even do this last one here that might take a little bit of thinking about how to do, but you could figure it out. If you knew what the um, constants were that created those straight lines, or the equations of those curves, then you can find those shaded areas. So here we have a question where we're finding the green area here. The problem is we're not looking at the area under a curve, as we've seen before. We're looking at the area between that line and the curve. So we're going to need to find the area that's under the line, and then take away the area that's under the curve, and that will give us that green shaded area. So before we can do that, we need to know what limits we're using. So we need to look for those intersection points. So that's solving as you're used to. Put the equation of the curve equal to the equation of the line and solve that equation. So we now have our limits between 0 and 3. Now if we go for the area under the line, we could integrate it, but it's easier to see that it's a trapezium and work out the area that way. Now the area under the curve between 0 and 3 Go ahead with your integration as usual, substitute in your limits. So the shaded area will be that area under the line minus the area under the curve, giving us our final answer. So here we have our, our next example. There are actually two ways of doing these. You can think about it as the area under one curve, take away the area under the other curve, but you can also do it as subtracting the equations first and then integrating them. So that's how we're going to do this example next. So this time we'll think about our area as being the integral between those limits of 0 and 2.5 with our top curve subtracting the bottom curve. And we simplify that before integrating. And then that will do the whole thing of the top curve minus the bottom curve all in one go. So we found what that came to, integrated it. Now we're substituting in those limits of 2.5 and 0 to get our final answer. Now it is entirely up to you which way you do those. You can work out one area, work out the other, then subtract them. Or you can subtract the equations and integrate them in one go. Um, some questions may tend to be easier one way than another, but it's entirely up to you which one you do as long as you get the right answer at the end, of course. Now your reward for getting all the way to the end of the video is a little maths joke to do with differentiation. Why don't you ever see alcohol being served at a maths party? Because you should never drink and derive. <laughs>